So while making the last video, I thought I'd have a little play around with the SB app and I found this amazing picture of the internals of a SB mixing valve. And this will be similar to any other, any other manufacturer's mixing valve. And it shows what we call the shoe. So let's talk about the SB valve particularly. They're the ones we, we're using. Um, in this diagram with the shoe in this position, this is the setup position. And if that's the position with the shoe at the beginning, this would be an input, input port. And so would this one be. It doesn't matter if this is the, the cold water or the hot water. Uh, the cold water, by the way, would come from the return circuit, from the circuit being provided. This would be the pumped circuit. If the pump was on this side, this shoe would be positioned on this side. So basically at 90 degrees to where it is now. So it always starts in the middle because the range of movement from the actuator is 90 degrees. So it's either going to move and block this port allowing full flow through this way uh, or it's going to move and block the middle port sorry um, the end port allowing full flow through from the side port sorry if that got a bit confusing because i had the other time let's try that again so from this position this would be the flow port if it went this way uh, 45 degrees and blocked this port in the full flow would be in this direction if it moves 90 degrees this side, the full flow would be in this position. And as you can see in the middle position, it's going to allow blended water coming through from these two circuits. Um, the, um, this is the uh, aperture here. This is what affects the authority. So if you imagine that gap was two inches diameter and you had a trickle of water coming through, there's going to be no authority. If you imagine we've got a River Thames running past here, and we've got a tiny little slit. We're going to have far too much pressure, pressure resistance through here for the flow to go through the circuit. And so the authority would be too high. So this has to be the correct size um, to, to allow the correct flow rate to go through here. And the rule for that, which I've explained in the other video as well, is that the resistance to flow through this circuit or delta P, it, it, sorry, in the, in the download circuit, should be equal to the pressure loss through these apertures um, for the mixing to take place that would give us an authority of 0.5 authority can range from 0.1 which is poor authority to 0.10 which is uh, really good authority 0.10 having high losses through the pump you have to push it really hard to squeeze it through the small hole and uh, 0.1 having um, probably a small range of adjustment uh, across the valve so basically if the valve is slightly open it would allow the full flow rate to go through or too much of the flow rate to go through let's say so we want that around 0.5 which is where the pressure loss is equal in the circuit means are provided and through the the valve itself so okay i hope that helps i hope that was clear and i hope this little picture helps everybody so get actually back on when I was talking about commissioning these in the other video, I was talking about lining this up. So remember that we're going to use the flat on this little spindle to line up at 90, sorry, at uh, 45 degrees between the two inlet ports. The pump out or the circuit must be fed from one of the two ends. There has to be, you can see by the position of the shoe, we have to have two inlet ports next to each other for the shoe to be able to cause the mixing. If the pump was on this circuit, we wouldn't be able to control the mixing uh, through there. We wouldn't end up with a, with a mixing valve at all. I think there's something about the orientation in here when you have a diverter valve, actually. But um, I don't know because I haven't done that yet. Um, it's probably on the app if you want to download the ESBE SB app um, for yourself and have a little play with it and also do a bit of research on YouTube. They've got a few videos on YouTube as well. And I think there's a... a video I think it's Thomas Hilditch has done a video as well on setting up the apps so he's setting up the mixing valves as well um, so happy hunting and I hope that helps